This uh, video relates to Dean Homer. Uh, Dean Homer basically started a crowd fund to try and get him, his, well, his wife and two kids into the UK using crowdfunding to obtain over £60,000 in savings um, to meet the criteria of the UK government. First thing I want to say is somebody said 18, he didn't re reach the 18,600. Uh, which is the minimum criteria for the UK. It is not correct. 18.6 is him and his wife. Each kid is another two, I think two, two and a half thousand pounds each as well. So it's not 18.6, it's over 20 grand. Um, now the other side of this, looking at the fact he worked on shipping, I assume his career possibilities in the UK are pretty slim. Now... Pushing that aside, because the reason I brought that up is it saves people comment and saying that he's got no right because he's unskilled or blah, blah, blah. Um, and my personal view is he's British and that's it. The rest of it's irrelevant. Um, asking the Joe public for over 60 grand and only receiving just over 300. Um, I want to put something in perspective here. You are on your own. Nobody's going to help you. Half of them, I'd say three quarters of the UK these days, is racist in some form. They have some prejudice against somebody. Um, but also, they're always a bit funny about Brits having foreign wives. I've, I've seen it in the UK myself. The mentality is quite... It's, it's typical Brit. It's, it's not done to your face, it's done behind your back. I've experienced it in work myself, but also I've seen what workmates have done to somebody else um, because his wife was from Thailand. It was like behind his back. Um, but what, what, what do I recommend? Firstly, shove the government. You don't owe them nothing. This is, this is a very strong thing for me, is you owe the British government nothing. Um, if you're a British national, you're British by birth. That's it. Your parents paid for your education, not the government. Your parents paid their contributions into the NHS, etc., etc. Um, the government didn't pay for anything. The government's a treasury. The government takes money from the people. You owe the government nothing. So those that get on the nationalistic thing get stuffed. As simple as that. Because it is nonsense. It is designed to pull people into doing what the government wants. Um, and... They, you, the, the joke here is those at the top abuse it to the max. I mean, it's not been the first time that a politician's public, well, their servants, shall we call them, because servants is, is not a PC word these days, have been illegals. The US has had it, and I'm sure it's come up in the UK a few times. There's a lot of Saudi diplomats and whatever that dump them in London streets with no passports and nothing and don't even speak a word of English. It's not the first time it's happened, uh, but it's not in the papers very often. Um, but they abuse it to the max and then tell you you're doing it wrong. Old, um, what's his, uh, uh, from Warwick Castle, they used to, you know, they dictate, this is going back a while, mine, used to dictate how everyone should live their lives while they're having, like, orgies and stuff up at there. And then telling you that you're, you're in a house of sin because you're not living with your wife because she does your editing or whatever. But it's all right for them to have orgies and stuff at their home. This is going back a while, though. This is, um, what's his name? What, um, Winston Churchill's childhood, I think. Um, but the point being here is you owe nobody nothing. Which means when somebody says, is it ethical or moral or whatever to use a system against itself, the answer is no. Because that's exactly what politicians do. Why do they have offshore companies? Because they don't pay tax. Why do they have things like um, Starbucks selling, it, owning its own plantations, then selling it at maximum price um, to the UK so the profit margins are the absolute minimum, so they don't pay tax? At the end of the day, the only people that are stupid enough to play this game are Joe Public. Everybody else is abusing it to the max, but we're the majority that suffers from the minority abusing it. Now I get on to my point. Don't ask the Joe Public for 60 odd thousand pounds, they ain't gonna help you. A lot of them think you shouldn't have a right to bring your wife and kids to the uh, UK. 
a lot of them assume that they're, they're better than you or have got other prejudices and other issues themselves, but like to blame you for, for their problems. So, go Schengen route. Look up Schengen route and head yourself into Portugal. That's all I'm saying. I can't really discuss the Schengen route itself because it's quite an expansive thing. And if you're not doing it, you're not really interested in hearing about it. Um, but research the Schengen route and head, head to Portugal. Um, that's my only advice. You will not have to get £60,000 to suit the British government. You may have to work in Portugal for a small period of time, but you can skip the whole system by going to Portugal first. All right, thanks for watching. Yeah.